We back. What's up, y'all? So Spencer, we are doing a little bit of science project over here today on That Reload Podcast, and we wanted to uh, get your professional opinion on this. So we're just using straight up bourbon. We're gonna try to carbonate some bourbon and make a bourbon seltzer. And we figured as the international seltzer expert, you should be a part of it. I've got it in there now. Let's hit the button and see what happens. So to, to my house, to this podcast, yeah, we, uh, we wanted you to be a part of our new creation. <laughs> ah. You might be getting some crazy texts from us. Stay here, it's bubbling. It is bubbling. Hurry. You know, it's 11.48 here <laughs> in Tennessee, and we already hit the bourbon. It's like all the, like this. Whoa. all the aromatics are just got thrown in my freaking face. <laughs> That's it's like that a is bizarre. Topo. It's so good. <laughs> It is, Ooh. it's like the, all of the, what you would typically get off the nose is like times a thousand. Oh you know my what gosh. I mean? mm. Every little bubble exploses with flavor. Exploses. Yeah. Exploses. It just started raining on us, so, um, what the heck? <laughs> Put it in here. That gum it. Oh, bourbon science. I love blackberries. I thought it would be a good pairing with, uh, Ah. Mm, welcome back to the show, all you cool cats and kittens. We're gonna jump right into porn, and this is my first time. The theme for the show is budget bourbons. In glass number A, we have an old favorite of the show, Old Granddad, but this is not the 114 we normally talk about. This is the 100, the bottled and bond. Then in glass number B, we have Old Forester 100 proof. In glass number C, Evan Williams, Bald and Bond, White Label, 100 proof. All right, guys, we've been drinking a lot of bourbon, so we need something to eat. So I got up at 3 a.m. this morning, and I made some beef ribs. There we go. I told you, a lot of bourbon. We have some Hoffman Family Meat, USDA Prime, short ribs. Check them out, guys. About seven hours on the Primo. We're gonna slice into these bad boys right here. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Oh. Sorry. That's cold all over here. I'm happy with that. First <laughs> long cook on the ceramic. Yep. That is, those are bigger than I thought they would be. That's what she said. <laughs> Cocktails. We gotta go. There we go. We got two. Twelve. Okay. That. We're going to do a little zest action. Rim everything around. The key is on this one, the gear taught me this, that when you zest, when you're getting a little, you're zesting here going on, make sure your peel side is down. This gives you nothing. And I'm rubbing that all over the glass here. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get a little more wood in here because Put it over tight. Cap it. Cap it. There we go. All right. So right now, we're having a smoke gun. No, we're having a smoked old fashioned. So let's uncap them right now. Oop. Mm. 
get your nose in there once the cloud kind of gets away. All right, we're back, and Stacy and I both have our cocktails ready to go. So first up is me. So this is a drink I've actually never tried before. So I'm gonna try it the first time uh, with you guys. It's called the Grand Budapest. Booty. Okay, let's, let's try it real quick. It smells, it smells amazing. My mouth is alive with the sounds of flavor. Okay, so I don't like it. I'm being thrown off. I don't like it. So. Uh, Whenever I first started getting into bourbon, uh, a good buddy of mine told me that you can really tell whenever somebody cares about their cocktails by the cherries that they put in. Okay. And Luxardo cherries are by far, in a way, I know Stacy, you don't like maraschino okay. cherries, but they're the best cherries you can get. Gare. Gare used to be a bartender back in the day. For a really a nice high, restaurant. High-end restaurant up in New York. I mean, he's met Ozzy, he's met so many different, like, wow. well-known people. and. Yeah, he used the exact same cherries that you do. He said, he said it's a game changer, and it is. The flavor, they're they are so dark. They're like dense. Almost. Oh, yeah. This, I don't feel. Jeremy, you're gonna give me the booty shake? <laughs> As is uh, customary at this point. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Long tongs. Long tongues. Ah, uh, look at the seasoning, y'all. That's seasoning. That's one word for it. You could throw some scrapple on there and it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> we got the marinade. What is marinade in? Uh, that is the Trader Joe's Soyaki marinade. Soyaki, and we're also gonna do straight dry rub magnum on these. There you go. Ooh, look at that char. Ah, yeah, baby, no stickage. <laughs> all right. That's it. That's it. That's a wrap. We all made it. We made it through. Uh, we didn't think we were going to, but we did. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna wrap everything up, uh, put the uh, equipment up, and Head back. So, be sure to check out the shows if you haven't already. Subscribe, suckers.